success of Lance Armstrong's pee. However, I'm an optimist, and I think we can make the process better. But for now, it's a work in progress. I've given you leads, but the leads are weak. The leads are weak? The leads are weak? No, you're weak. Your job is to sell life insurance. Now get out there and go work those leads. Or I understand you're interested in buying life insurance? Jeez, you scared the crap out of me. I thought you were here to shut off my power. All right, all right, just come inside. My neighbors are going to think you're here to recruit me for dancing with the stars. I just need to ask you a few questions to see if you qualify for coverage. Oh, 
Merci, merci à, à tout le monde et merci Eric Morning. My name is Daniel Dreyfus, owner operator of coldcallchampion.com. A lot of people are in cold calling for a few weeks, a few months, a few years. I've been successful with it for over 30 years, and this morning I want to give you the three most important things or secrets to know about successful cold calling. I suppose you could just as easily flip it around and say three things to avoid would be to miss or neglect doing these things. First has to do with the script. You know, you hear arguments on both sides. Oh, don't read a script, it's mechanical. Well, the biggest mistake or the most important secret to do right is to have the words that you need without reading them mechanically. So you're going to be saying the same thing repeatedly. You want to have a guide so you don't get lost, tongue-tied, or stumble over your words. But at the same time, you don't want to read it mechanically. You need to be conversational. The most important thing is to have a relationship. You may say that's impossible to cold call. You're only talking for, you know, a minute and a half to somebody. But the tone, the confidence, the information. So that brings us to the second point. You have to know what you're talking about. The biggest mistake or the biggest secret would be to be an expert about what you're describing. If you go to the trouble of reaching the decision maker, and they ask you a question, or they find out that you really are just parroting something and don't have an understanding of what you're describing, then you lose that credibility. On the plus side, if you have an in-depth knowledge, understanding, enthusiasm about your product, system, or service, or solution, it comes across. You might think, oh, it's just a telephone, you know, but a smile comes across, the information, the confidence, the knowledge. So one, don't stumble over your words. Have a script, but don't be a slave. Don't be tied to it. Use it as a tool. Two, be knowledgeable. Know what you're talking about. And three, the most important thing not to ignore, or the secret is to be able to use it is, may sound counterintuitive, don't get overly concerned with the outcome of an individual call. What you want to do is be concerned about your overall target or endeavor. You're going to be making a certain number of calls per month, per week, per year. That's what counts. Don't get overly discouraged about, you know, the individual outcome of a call. Sure, you like to close every call, get an appointment, and have everybody be interested. The best thing to have is that someone's hearing what you're saying. You may catch them at an inopportune time. It may be something that they're interested in later. It may be something that's perfect for them now, but don't get your mind, your emotions, your enthusiasm, and your whole persona fixated on a single outcome that it destroys you if, you know, it doesn't, doesn't turn positive. Instead, by focus on the overall picture, you've got something that, can't, that just, just can't fail because it's entirely within your own discretion how many calls you make, and that should be your target, your goal, your purpose. So, that's it. Uh, coldcallchampion.com for more info or just take those three secrets and you're well on your way. Have a great day.